Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to be making a French onion soup and we're going to try to do it mostly alkaline when it comes to the bread. But I'll explain that when it comes to the bread. But the soup itself is going to be alkaline. So a French onion soup, alkaline version. All right, so here we go. I got my pot here. It is already heating. Yeah, it's already heating up. And I got uh, one tablespoon of grapeseed oil here. Just going to add that in there. And we are going to mix it with two tablespoons of uh, alkaline butter. This is Mr. Stay Happy's alkaline butter. There is no coconut oil in this, so I am comfortable in cooking it. And I don't cook coconut oil for people who don't know. This is your first video. I try not to cook any coconut, but I do use coconut. So, when people ask me in the comments, they'll be like, why you don't use coconut? I do use coconut. I eat coconut. I just don't use it when I'm heating food. That's it. <clears throat> Alright, so two tablespoons Mr. Stay Happy Alkaline Butter. Alright. You can go to MrStayHappy.com and get that. Butter and oil all mixed up together there. Alright, so I have turned this on high to just heat it up, but now that it's heated up, I am going to turn it on just to a medium because we want to saute our onions. We do not want to, uh, I mean, well, we want to caramelize our onions. We do not want to saute them. Alright, so in this bowl, I have here, this is two onions this is the yellow onions the sweet ones they were pretty big so I would say two and a half if you have like medium sized onions and they also have two shallots the shallots is going to give us another depth of flavor uh, with it most people just use all onion if you have all onion just use onion you don't have to go buy any shallots if you don't have them but if you have them that's great add them to it so now we're going to add this all to our pot here I also julienne these. They are cut uh, not really fine, some whatsoever. I'm not a machine, they not all cut the same. Alright, so we're going to get this all mixed up in our butter here. And like I said, we're just going to caramelize this so this could take a little time, up to like 15 minutes or so. But just caramelize. Do not saute. Do not burn. You just want to caramelize them. Get that nice color. Get that sweetness coming out of the onions. Alright, so I'm just going to add just a little pinch of salt here. So now, like I said, I'm just going to let them cook down and caramelize. This could take a little time, so, you know, I'll be back. Alright, I am back. My onions have cooked down here. It's been about 15 minutes. They have caramelized here. I'm going to try to tilt this so y'all can see. It has a nice brown color. They have cooked down tremendously. They have caramelized. There is a little, uh, the sugars from the onions have stuck to the bottom of the pot. That's kind of what you want there, but not too much. You don't want it to burn. So, now that that has cooked down, we are going to add, to get the uh, sugars off the bottom of the pot, get all those little tidbits off because you want that in your uh, soup here. We're going to add, usually they would add some kind of cooking wine, a dry sherry, white wine, or something like that. But I have my own alkaline cooking wine. And I do have a video for that. I will link that at the end of this video here. Alkaline cooking wine. So we're going to add that. I'm going to turn my heat all the way up. so Because we want that to kind of cook off a little bit. While we get this. Get all those little tidbits off the bottom here. All 
Alright, I've got all the bits off the bottom there now. So now, I'm going to add my flour. This is uh, Kamut. This is two tablespoons. You can use spell Kamut chickpea if you like. I don't think chickpea works well in this, but spelt or kamut is good. You can even do rye if you want. I wouldn't add as much of the rye. So we're just going to add this to give us a little roux here. Uh-oh. Forever making a mess. flour all mixed in. Now I'm going to let that cook down for just a minute here to get my flour all cooked through. And I clean this mess. Alright, I think my flour has cooked through here. So now we're going to add our other ingredients. I have some veggie broth here. This is three and a half cups of veggie broth. We're going to add that. Again, stir and get your little tidbits of flour that have stuck to the bottom off. Alright, so now I got here, this is three tablespoons of the uh, no soy sauce. This again comes from Mr. Stay Happy website. Uh, no soy in this. This is an alkaline version of soy sauce uh, substitute. And that is three tablespoons. That is replacing the Worcestershire sauce that usually would be in your um, French onion soup. Now, next we have here some seasonings. Now, first off, I, I need to just taste it just a little bit here because I want to see how sweet my onions were. Mm, not as that sweet, so that's good. The soy sauce and the broth. <clears throat> Alright, so in this little uh, bowl here, I have, this is a tablespoon of thyme. This is a fourth a teaspoon of uh, basil ground basil leaf if you do basil ground bay leaf if you do not have ground bay leaf you can grind it in your blender or a uh, little spice blender but if you don't have that and you just want to use the whole bay leaf just put one whole bay leaf in here just remember to fish it out all right and then we got just a uh, fourth of a teaspoon of agave powder this is just going to give us an underlying sweetness to our uh, soup here all right now to give us more of that umami flavor we are using the alkaline no moo uh bouillon this again comes from mrstayhappy.com they have a full, we have a full pantry, they, <laughs> like it's not me, we have a full pantry of uh, different types of uh, seasonings and sauces and condiments and stuff to help you make cooking easier. So this is the Nomu Bouillon, this is going to give us more of that imami flavor and our soup here. That is two tablespoons. Get this all mixed in here.
All right, so I'm going to let this come back to a full boil, let our flour uh, thicken up our soup here, and I'll be right back. i got to go get my bread and all that stuff, so be back. All right, so now my soup has uh, cooked here. It has thickened up a little bit, so I'm just going to turn the heat off now. And now we have to assemble our bowl here. Alright, so I got a couple of ramekins here. Make sure you have something that's oven safe. And I'm just going to scoop some soup in there. In each one. Can y'all see that soup there? I suggest setting these on a baking tray when you do this so that way it doesn't run over in your oven and then it won't be so hard to get out when you're trying to pull them out. You can just pull out the whole tray and not try to grab it with your uh, oven mitt and hold a small little ramekin. Alright, so now usually it's topped with some bread and some cheese. So I do have my bread here. This I made a video on this. I don't know if it's going to be released before this video or after, but there will be a video about this bread. Now, this bread is not 100% alkaline. It does use baking soda. So if you have another bread, you can buy the Berlin bread that is all uh, Sabi approved ingredients, but this is my own homemade bread and it does have baking soda. So you can watch that video if you want to make your own bread. If you have your own bread at home, whatever bread you have, just cut a couple of slices, toast it first. You want it to be toasted. You don't want it to be soft because if it's soft, it's just going to sink into your soup and just be mushy. So we don't want that. So I do have some toasted bread here and I got some uh, minced not so garlic. We're just going to rub that across our bread here. Give us an extra depth of flavor. Bit on the back side. That's enough. Oh, it might be too big. Too big. Alright, let's see if I can break this. There we go. There we go. Okay, that'll be too big too. A little bit. Oh, I tried. I keep it whole. Alright, not so garlic. Yep. Alright, a couple of bread priests there. I probably shouldn't have done this on the tray. <laughs> Then I'm going to use the good guard. All right, now, I got my cheese block here. I have just shredded it. This is my own homemade cheese block. Again, there is a video of this, too. It is not 100% alkaline, so just be aware. There is a lot of alkaline ingredients. Not that many that's not, but it is. And this, we're just going to spread over our soup here with our bread. I think that's enough. Don't need that much. I say that left out and piled it on, huh? Alright, so that is it. Now this is gonna go in the oven for probably about five minutes. You really just want your cheese to melt for it to start bubbling here. Uh get you a little broil. It's gonna go in the oven on broil so that way your cheese and stuff will get a nice little color on it. Alright, so in the oven, about five minutes on broil. I'll be right back. Right, right back. No. Alright, done. I gotta clean the tray off. Alright, I am back. My uh, cheese is melted on my French onion soup here, so we're all done. I had to take some photos for social media so it's not bubbling anymore, but I promise it was bubbling. But as you can see, it has melted. This is still kind of hot. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to pick it up so y'all can see it. See those? It looks so good. Oh, that's hot. Now just keep touching it. All right. So now I am just going to taste a little bit here. Oh, look at that. Look how it's running out of there. That looks so good. Gotta find me a piece that's not so. 
a little bit of the bread here. It's hot, so I can't touch it to hold it. Alright. It is so hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Savory. Mm. Just that little underlying sweetness of the onions and the agave. Ooh, the savoriness. That is good. My onions are soft. They're still intact. They're not disintegrated into the soup. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I got to wait to cool off a little bit, though, before I can really get into that. All right, so that is it. I have made my own version of alkaline French onion soup, excluding the bread with the baking soda. But other than that, the soup itself is... Uh, Outline, you don't have to have the cheese or the bread on top. Just the soup itself is very good. Trust me, after this, with the rest that's left in that pot, it'll just be eight <laughs> like that with nothing else on top. All right, that is it, people. And until the next video, stay happy.